Hey Cancers, welcome to Tara and Heal. Yes, I'm showing my face. An act of vulnerability is what I'm calling it. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to stick. I might do it for the next batch. I'm not sure. All right, anyway. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Cancer Collective needs to know for the first half of July? Now, while I was meditating on your energy, the song Wishing on a Star, it's like a really old school song. Um, the lyrics go, wishing on a star to find out who you are. There might be a secret admirer situation going on here. But, um, it's a general sense of longingness, though. Like, if it's not like, if someone's not admiring a specific person and wishing, dreaming about them and fantasizing and wishing that they can be with them, maybe it's just like a, fan, a fantasy of what love can be. Okay, so someone is definitely longing about a love. Someone might be looking at couples and like, I wish I can have that. You know, that's the energy that I'm feeling. It's a very dreamy energy. But I think, oh, speaking of dreams, go for your dreams, okay? If you're fantasizing about a certain type of love, you deserve it. What I was going to say is half the battle with you guys, it seems as if it's it's a matter of knowing that you do deserve it, knowing that you can have it, knowing that it's not someone else's love story, that you can have this type of love story, okay? Go for your dreams. You have an idea of what a love should be. Go get it. All right. Um, now, obviously, if you have a, sp a specific person in mind um, and they're not playing into your fantasy, then, you know, find someone else. But I think it's a matter of even if you have someone in mind, it's a matter of the love that you think that they can give you. OK, it's not necessarily the person. So keep that in mind, because I know some of some of the people in this cancer energy, whether you were dealing with someone who had this energy or whether it's you, someone was they fantasize about a person, all right, and they try to make someone fit that that fantasy, all right? That's for some of you guys. But overall, this is about having a clear idea, a dreamy idea of what love is supposed to feel like for you, all right, and then when to have it. Begin to explore. Explore your options, okay? you. Some of you guys, you might have thought that this person was going to give you this love. You realize that they're not, and now it's time to explore, okay? Um... Some of you guys just straight up have to stop dreaming and going out and getting it. All right, go on the dating apps, you know, just start doing it. Start looking for that thing that you want. Stop dreaming, stop being like, being in this, in this mode, this longing mode. I feel like you guys have been in this mode of longing for way too long. All right. Let's get into it. What's going on with the cancer energy? Yeah, and the star card had came out, too. While I was meditating on your energy, it's like you guys were unclear about it for a second. And then it seems like now you have major clarity. You're no longer conflicted about what this looks like. And it's like the star card is someone like kind of gazing out into the, you know, into the ethers, you know, just in that very fantastical mode. It's time to actually stop dreaming and actually take some action steps to go and get what you want. Now, the, the tower card did flip out. All right. That's like shaking up a foundation. Some of you guys, it might, you might actually be in a situation. All right. Excuse the background noise. But some of you guys might be in a situation and realize it's not what you want. And now you're wishing for better. Okay. That might be a tower moment for you. Um, like I said, either way, whether you're in a relationship or not, it's a major clarity that came about, about what you actually desire in love. Some of you guys you might realize like, oh, you might've been a player, right? And then realize... I don't want to be a player no more, okay? <laughs> but it's some type of epiphany that happens that makes you very clear, like, I want love, and I want this type of love. Oh. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. All right. Um, all right, so you have the Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords, okay, so some of you guys are walking away or thinking about walking away from this. This epiphany, it, it might have caused you to want to walk away from a situation that you're already in. Um, find solace, that's a justice card. The justice card did come out because whatever, if you're in a situation and you're thinking about walking away, you, okay, some of you guys, you might have been in a situation where you felt like it was going to give you the love. It didn't live up to the fantasy. Maybe the fantasy was way grander than the reality, okay, and now you're realizing you're not too happy. This could be you or someone else. Now, with that being said, now this love, this relationship, this fantasy is now becoming a burden for you, and you're thinking about walking away. Somebody's thinking about walking away to find that fantasy, all right? 
either walking away to, to find that fantasy elsewhere or walking away from the fantasy altogether and just accepting what you have right now, all right? Either way, there's a need to shift a perspective to make things right with the hangman and the, the justice card here. I was going to say find solace in the fact that the justice card is coming out because whatever it is that you're being led to do, it's actually the right thing to do, okay? With the world card, you're meant to upgrade. Like I said, go for your dreams. Dream big. Some of you guys might be settling. Some of you guys might be settling. I'm getting that feeling. There's like a new, a new path of... There's a new way that you're looking at love now. Your capacity to love might have expanded. All right? Your capacity to love might have expanded. And now you're looking at the love that you do have. And it's not reaching those that territory. It's not fulfilling that new territory that's expanded. That's a tower moment. Now you have to look at this new way... Maybe you didn't believe that you can deserve that you deserved love on some on a deeper level and you finally healed that part of you. Maybe because you were in that mindset, you didn't believe that you can have love, so then you were only accepting certain types of love. You only were settling for a certain type of love. Now you have this tower moment of healing and realizing I deserve better or I actually do want better. And now you have to assess the situation that you found yourself in based on the old ways of thinking. That was based in like lack of self-worth or whatever. Whatever the old belief system was. Page of Pentacles. But like I said, find solace in the fact that these emotions, this expansion of your emotional territory is a great thing. It's actually a great thing. It's It kind of sucks that someone might, you know, have to get nicked in a process. But it's what you're supposed to do. If you don't follow it, you'll be stopping yourself from upgrading. The world card is a brand new, fortunate, new, beautiful cycle for yourself. If you're feeling the need to move on, because not for not at any fault of the person, it's just it's just what's happening. If that's the case, it doesn't mean that they're a bad person, and you're not a bad person for it. This is just how you feel. You're meant to feel this way. The universe is on board with you feeling this way. And I feel like I have to keep stressing that. You are, you're, you're supposed to feel this. You are supposed to go through this process of, you know, settling. You are supposed to go through this process of awakening to your real desires. And you're supposed to go for it now. Okay? The justice card is here. Whatever this new expansion of love is, is supposed to happen. So someone's just sitting there dreaming about what a love can be in this new with these new standards, but they're not acting. They're not taking any tangible steps forward, which in this case it might be leaving the situation, or it could be communicating, exploring that option with who you're with, and seeing if they can live up to it. All right. Like, hey, let's try something new. Let's do something like super cheesy and romantic. You know, if that's what you want to start doing now. You guys might have been, oh gosh, you guys, some of you guys might have found yourself in a little bit of a rut. You want to reignite romance so you realize that you're in a situation that doesn't have the romance that you want. They're not speaking your love language. All right. So you're holding yourself back with this. All right, I'm going to drive the point home one more time because the cards are driving the point home a lot right now. You're feeling held back because there might be some guilt here. This is written in the stars for you to move this way. It's written in the stars for you to move on and explore this new passion, this new sense of love, romance, um, this dreamy, fantastical, whatever this is for you. It's written in the stars for it to happen right now. Do not hold yourself back. You know this with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, the high priestess in reverse. You're very clear. Your intuition's on point. The only thing that'll be holding you back is guilt 
or shame or something like that. Feeling bad for having these feelings. If you know the universe is on board, you need to know that. The universe is on board. So don't guilt yourself out of your blessings. The justice card, meaning that things are supposed to happen this way. This is a blessed upgrade for you. You weren't, you didn't have access to this level of love before, and now you do, okay? You're being divinely pushed to experience love like you never had it before with the Eight of Wands. But because you're not taking steps, this Eight of Wands is coming out in reverse, and you're causing resistance in this push. Temperance card, another card of divine intervention. This is a divinely guided expansion pack. You got a, a love expansion pack, okay? You got upgraded. You got bumped up to first class in love, all right, when you've been sitting in coach all this time. Are you going to just not take the first class ticket? Come on. You're divinely guided. You're meant for this. You're, it's like someone giving you a first class ticket and you're like, yeah, but I don't really deserve the first class ticket. Like, I didn't really pay for it. Or, you know, whatever the case is, like, take it. Take it. It opened up. You don't always get a first class ticket for, for love. You have the opportunity. You have the window to go for it. So go for it. I'm sorry. I'm screaming at you. Six of Wands. That's like not feeling the victory, not feeling the loss. I mean, not feeling the win. You're feeling the loss. That's what's going to happen if you don't take this. If you don't take the first class ticket, somebody else is going to take it. All right? Meaning, a window of opportunity has opened up for you to experience love in a way that you haven't before in a more profound way. And the window will close at some point. The universe is not going to leave it open if you're not going to take it. All right? You have a window of opportunity here. And it doesn't mean like, okay, like jump into, just jump out of the relationship if you're not feeling led to do that. What it means is at least taking a very small step. With the Page of Pentacles, it's a very baby step. The baby step, I mean, the baby step for some of you guys can just be the acknowledgement of you're not really completely fulfilled where you are. It's not saying that this person is a bad person or they're not giving you the love, but they're just not giving you all the love. Okay, and it could just be the acknowledgement of that. That could be the first baby step here. But you have to take a step to let the universe know. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I see that that gem opening up, and I'm gonna go and take that. But just give me some time. If you need time, you you know what I mean. But at least you're taking a step. Yeah, you're distracting yourself from it with things that don't even matter. You might be guilt tripping yourself at this point. Okay. Um, it's something about the ego here that needs to be healed. Star card coming out again. You want to do the right thing? You want to do the right thing? Well, that's why I keep pulling out all these, why I keep showing you all these cards of divine intervention. You want to do the right thing for you? You want to do the right thing as your soul sees it? Move on. Okay? Doing the right thing is not putting your emotions aside for someone else. Doing the right... That would actually be a disservice to both of you guys. Because now, if you know that you want more, what you're doing is holding up space. You're, you're keeping this person in place and is holding up space where someone else can actually fulfill. Someone who has the ability to fulfill that love. You're, you're holding up, you're, you're keeping, you're keeping them as a placeholder for that person. And then also you're just being a placeholder in that person's life too. Because trust me, if you feel this way, they're feeling that way too on a certain level. You know, if you're feeling like you're not being completely fulfilled, trust me, it's a two way street there. Somebody just woke up to it first. Someone, one of you guys might just be willing to deal with settling over the other person. You're not the only person in this relationship and it's all energy, it's an energy exchange, okay? So don't don't harp on yourself about this. You feel like, if you feel like you're doing the right thing by staying and protecting someone's emotions, you're actually doing a disservice to both of you guys because you're stopping both of you guys from feeling the actual love that you guys deserve in its fullest capacity. All right. Whatever excuses you're giving yourself is, is complete BS. I'm sorry. All right. What are the blockages? <clears throat> I 
What are the blockages for cancer? <laughs> Once again, with that Eight of Wands being pushed with passion, with fire, go for it. I love this card, this Eight of Wands in this deck because it's just showing the level of passion that you, you're like, you have to reignite this fire, this passion that you feel. I feel like your fantasy is igniting a passion that you feel like you can't go for, but here we are again. That's why I pulled this out to reiterate. Go for it. Go for your dreams. Go for the passion. You deserve it. All right. <clears throat> you feel the push. And then, like with the high priestess coming out, you guys are intuitively very clear about what needs to happen. You're clear about what needs to happen, and you're just like, yeah, but I can't do that. Can't hurt his feelings or her feelings like that'll be messed up like they're doing the right thing they're not they're not bad they didn't break my heart they're, they're committed they're faithful why would i leave them yeah because you're not because it's not it's not giving you the passion that you want because you guys are young but you feel like a married uh, an old and gray married couple already there's no passion <laughs> all right that's for some of you guys all right, let's go. If you're single, then it's about not going for the things that feel secure. And going for the thing that you actually want. No longer settling for a certain type of love. Getting out that cycle of settling and really going for the real deal. What's a blockage? You have the Nine of Swords with the Queen of Cups here. Okay, the overthinking. But why would you be overthinking something that you're so clear about? Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're so clear about it, but it's just hard to do. Okay, I got it. All right. If this is like a long-term relationship and you finally opened up a new capacity to love and you realize this person is just not giving that to you, I can see the overthinking. I can see the shame and guilt, how that could come about. Why you're choosing, but you have to understand that you're choosing to say no to love. You're choosing to say no to your happiness. Once again, the justice card, bringing a point home again. It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. All right. Queen of Cups coming out with that Nine of Swords. You're overthinking and you're blocking your, you're not even blocking your intuition. You know what time it is. Some of you guys saw your manifestation. All right. And then you don't want to leave one person and go to another or you don't want to just leave and try to find someone else. You know, I feel like some of you guys have a have an, a bit of an idea. Either you have a clear idea of the person or you have a clear idea of what it actually looks like. And you realize you're in something and it doesn't look like what you or, or always dreamed of the love being or that you now dreamed this new dream of love. You're in manifestation mode, but I think some of you guys, you might have found some. OK, hold on. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Someone or something might have ignited your fire. All right, why is this Queen of Wands here? Oh, okay. So if somebody ignited your fire, then you're feeling guilty about it. All right. That's for some of you guys. That's not for everybody. Um, this can, like I said, it could just be a person who ignited your fire or um, the fantasy itself, the idea itself of this love that you know, you're you not experiencing. That idea, that concept is making you feel guilty because you realize that person doesn't match up. All right, what, what are they feeling to see? You got to take the lead. You have the King of Pentacles coming out with that Queen of Swords, all right? You got to take the Queen, the King of Pentacles, one, the King of Pentacles is about taking the lead in your life, okay? Um, going for what you want, despite, you know, doing it, you, you're, like I said, with the, some of you guys, you might be guilting yourself into doing the right thing, not realizing that the right thing is not the right thing. The right thing is following your heart. Ultimately, in, on a bigger picture scale, that's the right thing, Okay? It'll hurt. It'll hurt the person. It'll hurt you. It won't be easy, but it is the right thing to do. 
the justice card. It's the right thing to do. You weren't getting the love that you deserved. And it was because you didn't know you deserved it. Now you're getting to a place where you know that you can have more, that you deserve more. Now you got to go for it. Take the lead. King of Pentacles. Get what you want. Take the leadership of the situation, okay? Um, and it could be as simple as like seeing if this person can give you what you want. You know, I don't know if you have this new capacity to love and this person and you maybe you didn't speak to them about it maybe you want something different done in the bedroom and you didn't speak to them about these new desires you know it, first of all do that okay if you've done that then you realize that they really can't give that to you then it's just like okay well i have to find someone else to do that for me you know not obviously not just about the physical but in the emotional sense right queen of swords you're refusing to cut it out the queen of swords is being logical Taking a logical approach to the, this situation, taking an honest assessment of the situation, all right? Um, not falling into the emotional space of, well, we have history. Well, I, I love this person. Well, we did this and we have this. We built this, you know. Um, I told this person I love them, you know, all that. You got to get out of that because those are just excuses that ultimately on a bigger picture, on a, on a, on a grander scale, it really doesn't matter. The universe is like, yeah, I hear all of that. Even if it is a long-term relationship or a marriage or something like that. The universe is like, I hear all that that you're saying, but we're still telling you, go for your dreams. We're still telling you to go for it. Despite all of that, all those perceived excuses, which may be valid in someone else's eyes, but not in the eyes of spirit. Spirit is like, cut it out. You want this love? We got it for you. It's ready. It's out the oven. It's ready for you. All right? Are you going to take that first class ticket? All right. Anything else about what they're failing to see? And the thing is, you want it. But I think you just settle with the idea of um, just fantasizing. Like, oh, well, this is just what it has to be. Just won't experience that. You don't want to deal with the heartbreak. Of this tower moment. The tower card came out again with the three of swords. Like I said, it's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good, all right? I'm not going to sugarcoat that part. If you're in a situation and you thought you wanted that situation and now something reignited a passion that this person never did, that is crazy, right? That's hard. That's tough. And it's making this person, the person that you want to love, feel like a burden now. That's tough, all right? And then to know that you're being divinely guided, like the universe is like, yeah, this person's a burden. Yeah, you should move on to someone else. That's crazy. And it's a tower moment. It's shaking everything up. All this time you thought you was going to be living in, um, riding coach for the rest of your life. And then they, they tell you, no, you're supposed to, you got this first class of ticket over here. You didn't know that because you wasn't ready. Now you're ready. Here's your ticket. I know you, you settled into coach. I know it's comfortable now. You learned how to deal. You learned how to manage in that capacity. But now it's time for you to stretch and grow and experience a new level of luxury and love. I keep going to this airplane metaphor because it just feels like, it feels very fantastical. It feels like you're flying, like this love that you wanna experience or that you will, that you're being led to experience is one where you feel like you're just floating on cloud nine. You didn't have that passion. You didn't experience that with this person. It was probably something that made sense. Like, okay, you know what? Let's do this. You're ready. You're ready to shack up. I'm ready. I'm, oh, you're ready to shack up. I'm ready to shack up. You're ready to get married. I'm ready to get married. Whatever. Let's do this. You know, it was practical. But it didn't have that butterfly feeling. That's what you're missing. Doesn't mean you don't love this person, all right? It doesn't mean that you don't love this person. You guys came together for a reason. Oh, this is tough. All right, what's that advice? What's that advice? The baby step will be considering, wow, with the eights again. Spirit is laying it on thick. See, because your intuition's on point. Your intuition's on point here. You know what you have to do. 
star card and in that reading okay star card came out in the beginning when I was pre-shuffling and it's coming out now if this is resonating with you I guess you have and you're in a relationship then you have something that you already built so I did mention a shacking up, all right? Some of you guys might be shacking up with this person. You guys already have bills. Um, you guys probably, you know, or you're on that path to doing that. But that four of wands in reverse, it's like you're getting, it, you're getting pushed to drop this foundation, this level of security. Now, Back to the eights that are coming out. We have the eight of cups coming out with that eight of wands. The eight of cups is like, like I was saying, like the baby step is even just considering, consider a baby step, consider walking away from the situation. Consider overriding the guilt and shame that's coming up. See what happens when you just kind of override the guilt and shame and then allow yourself to freely enjoy this new life, this fantasy in your mind. No, you guys are already in your mind. That's a problem. You guys are already in your mind. Consider what it would look like to walk away. You already have the fantasy of what the love, what a love could look like for you. It's time to take a baby step in your mind of like, okay, when that guilt and shame comes up, like, oh, we already built this. We already built that. All right. Oh, I just got a whiff of, like, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, soul food. And it's not, like, out of hunger. Oof. It's like, that's how the person's going to make you feel. Oof. They're going to be so nourishing to your soul. They're going to feel like a home-cooked meal. Wow. With this cancer energy, with the home energy, like, it makes sense. You're moving forward to something that's going to make you feel like a home-cooked meal. Like, the love is going to feel like a home-cooked meal. Watch the Aquarius reading. That is the energy. Right now, the cancer energy, home, feeling at home, is, like, the current theme for everyone. Some of you guys, you have to get out of a situation so you can feel home, right? It seems like like for a lot of people it's uh it's on different it's it's for different sectors of people's lives. For you guys it's definitely in a romantic sense. For not not everyone is is it um it's it's pertaining to love, but for you guys maybe you want to feel you want that feeling of like coming home to that home cooked meal, maybe this person doesn't cook. Whatever. We're going off the deep end with that. But this person's going to make you feel like nourishing to your soul. They're going to feel like comfort food. They you want that nurturing, loving feeling. Aww. Take the baby step of thinking like, okay, I understand that there's some hurdles to stop me from breaking away. If you're in a relationship, there's some hurdles to breaking away from this relationship. And that's where you usually start looping at, right? You loop there like, oh, but I can't do this because we're shacking up. All right. Now, then try the next try to move past that and say okay but if i could do it how would i do it like anytime you reach you meet a hurdle just think like all right yeah i can't do this because of that but if i could what would i do that opens up a different part of your brain it opens up a different part of um uh, problem solving for you all right like, if I did, I mean, I guess you probably go down this because your imagination is vivid as AF right now. So you probably go down this path of like, okay, well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that hard. All I would have to do is A, B, and C. Oh, you know, and then you'll start breaking down the steps. Like, you, you have to take a baby step like that. Use this imagination not to, like, not to keep longing and torturing yourself like that. All right, torturing yourself for a love that you feel like you can't have. You're just sitting outside the window. It's like a, I'm seeing like a little kid looking in, looking in at his favorite bike, you know, and he's trying to save up all his pennies so he can get that bike. I don't know. This metaphor was in a, the 1930s, apparently, where bikes were cost a penny, a few pennies. Now, it's like you're longing for it. Don't use your imagination not to keep longing 
for this bike like oh I wish one day I can ride this bike use your imagination to figure out how you can start saving up the pennies to get the bike all right your passion is already ignited start using it in a way that inspires action all right cool You know what's really going to propel you forward? Making that final judgment call and really admitting to yourself that you want more and you're not completely happy. Admitting to yourself that you do deserve better. Admitting to yourself like, yeah, even though this person is okay, they're not going to give me what I want. They're not going to give me the dream, the star card. Wishing on a star. Wishing on a star. Here we are with the star card. You can have it. You can have the love you want. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. All right, let's pull from the Animal Spirit deck, and uh, then we're out of here. That's a tough decision. I know it's easier said than done, but I think I gave some good action steps to open up your mind to find some um, clues as to what the universe wants you to do next. Because right now, you're you're blocking the universe's um, signals. You're... You're blocking the universe's signals as to how to pull it off with your, um, with your, I can't do it. I can't get it because I'm feeling guilty mentality. Your guilt is blocking off your intuition, your escape, your way to get it. Brown bear spirit. Time to take time out. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. Okay. Yeah, it's time to look within. Admit to the fact that you're not getting what you want there, okay? And believe that you can have it. And believe that you can pull it off. Believe that you deserve it. Believe that you can get it. Believe that you can go for this fantastical love. It didn't come out of nowhere, okay? It's for a reason. This was all divine intervention, if I didn't make that clear. This is all divine intervention coming in like, hey, you can have this. You weren't eight, You wasn't ready before for this type of love. That's why we had you in these different situations, but now you're ready. So let's just open up your heart chakra a little bit more. I do, I did feel the need to change my, my orange candle to the green. I just realized that, which is the greenest for the heart. So some, for some of you guys, it might've been a heart chakra awakening or activation. Yeah, because your capacity to love has grown. Yeah, that's usually what happens. So yeah, it's for a reason. This is a spiritual awakening, a spiritual love awakening. You got an expansion package. Like, this is a video game. What's the romance angels? What do the romance angels have to say? Playfulness. Well, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Take the baby steps. And I'm not going to say, like, okay, the baby steps is starting to flirt and see what the, see what the dating pool is like while you're in a relationship. No. If you're single, yes. Start flirting. Put it, put it out there. Stop telling people, no, I'm cool with just being friends or whatever. No, you want love. You tell people what you want and go and get that thing. You're going to find people who are aligned with what you want. If you're single, right? If you're single, go for what you want. Get on them dating apps. Because right now it's kind of hard to meet people, right? Get on them dating apps. Have those video chat dates, all that. And just have fun with it. Have fun with it. No pressure. But let people know what you want up front, right? All right. This could be the one. This is what you're being led to. This is why this is happening. All right. You're being led to a new way of loving. Oh. All right. So for some of you guys, honey. Yeah. See this fantastical feeling. Honeymoon. <sighs> That's sweet sweet energy like that sweet passionate energy where you can't keep your hands off of each other like that's what you want you want that type of passion all right but anyway finances and career that's playing a role all right so some of you guys you might be thinking oh let me get myself together save up your pennies so some of you guys really are thinking about <sighs> okay some of you guys really are looking at this bike and, you know, like I said, you have to save up, start saving up your pennies so you can get that bike. Some of you guys, you might be looking for a higher level of commitment. You might be looking to find your husband or find your wife, but you know that you have to be in a certain uh, level of uh, financial security or you want to be in a certain level of financial security before you get there. Then start doing that. That's a good baby step. All right. 
I thought it was just a metaphor saving your pennies, but some of you guys, it really is about saving up, all right, so that you can expand this new way of loving. All right, cool. All right, Cancers, thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG. Go for your dreams. Go for the love that you want. Go for that love that makes you feel like home and sweet potatoes and macaroni and cheese and apple pie. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Please add the, please watch the, um, the, the uh, Aquarius reading about feeling at home or the Scorpio reading. Both of them are about feeling at home. Your uh, reading is definitely more like the Scorpio reading for sure because the Scorpio actually do have to walk away from someone uh, so they can find home. So maybe watch the Scorpio reading. I'll keep both in, a, in the description box. I mean, in the in the comments. <clears throat> I do personal readings. Check out the info box below. Um, if you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I think that's it. Until we meet again, peace.